Hello there, my name is Sixo, but more on that later, as now it's time for today's Toy of the Week video. And after a recent trend of bringing you a real mix of different vintage Transformers toy lines over the last few weeks or so, I figured that for this week's Spotlight, it was time to come smack up to date again and take a look at a particularly lovely toy from the Takara Tomy Masterpiece line. But make no mistake, this isn't just any old run-of-the-mill MP toy, this is the one and only MP25L Loud Pedal. How loud is he, you ask? So loud, he deserves to be heard. MP25L Loud Pedal is a repainted toy from the Takara Tomy Masterpiece line and was first released in June 2016. Loud Pedal is a repaint of MP25 tracks and repurposes the Blue Autobots toy in an unmistakably classic black colour scheme. Along with some interesting retooling to the design, it makes Loud Pedal stand out all on his own as a true thing of beauty, and reimagines the original Black Tracks as a new Decepticon character in his own right. Like a number of Masterpiece recolors, Loud Pedal is a homage to the Diaclone Car Robots line, a number of toys from which were given new life in the very early days of the Transformers franchise, although the toy in question is one of the rarest examples imaginable. For years, it was never even confirmed that a so-called Black Trax toy even existed prior to Transformers, yet it's since been established that it was available in 1984 as an exclusive to a chain of kiosks in Finland, making it a highly desirable and sought-after variant that can command exhaustive sums on today's market. There was also a Black Trax toy with an updated palette released as part of Transformers in 2002, although as a lucky draw contest prize. It was limited to only 300 pieces, meaning that it was still a highly alluring item for collectors despite not quite being in the same league as the Diaclone original. Still, there's little doubt that Loud Pedal's heavily distinctive colour scheme is a definite nod to the toy's original Diaclone roots, as that bizarre mix of green and red highlights with the light blue faceplate is just unmistakable. Elsewhere, there's a superb attention to detail all over this design, with so many little touches that shouldn't work together in theory, yet make it truly captivating in practice. Among those is the newly moulded head sculpt, specific to this release, which of course captures the likeness of the original Trax toy in a way that the Masterpiece Trax release itself favoured a cartoon accurate flair. Loud Pedal also shares the toy accurate hand blaster that we first saw packaged with its sister release, Road Rage, although this time it's cast in the same silver plastic as his body in further homage to the Diaclone source. Overall, it's a mesmerising robot mode that never fails to command your attention when you have it in hand, and brings new joy to an already familiar mould. Transformation is a relatively simple affair by Masterpiece standards these days, and features a couple of real standout moments along the way. I particularly like the fluidity of how the hands fold around to stow away for car mode, and indeed the clever manner in which the legs contort into a surprisingly compact configuration come the end of the process. The result is by far the best bit though, with Loud Pedal's vehicle mode taking what is already one of the more impressive Masterpiece car forms and elevating it to new heights with that rocking colour scheme. The toy is a superb recreation of a classic Corvette Stingray, and of course proudly bears the officially licensed stamp directly on the bonnet section in front of that signature flame emblem. The translucent purple windows are perhaps the crowning glory atop an already standout paint job, and really make Loud Pedal feel a notch above both tracks and road rage in that regard. The smooth, supple lines of the car form are recreated flawlessly here, meaning that you can admire Loud Pedal from any angle and your eyes are in for an unadulterated treat. There's more fun to come though, as Loud Pedal retains all of Trax's original gimmicks, such as the detailed engine section underneath the car bonnet. He's also packaged with a repaint of Trax's human companion, Raoul, who this time is wearing his alternate look from the character's second cartoon appearance during the classic episode Autobot. 
Additionally, there's a repaint of the mini blaster figure, which is now found in a color scheme referencing the pre-Transformers micro-change release of the toy, known as Ready Cassette Robo. And as if that wasn't enough, of course you could still transform Loud Pedal into his third mode, that being the distinctive flying car form. Be it ever so ridiculous in every sense, there's no doubt that this design makes such a feature work amazingly well, and it's just another string to Loud Pedal's already impressive bow. Really though, what makes Loud Pedal most worthy is that wonderful colour scheme that is recreated so flawlessly from the original Diaclone design. It's a real love letter to a time gone by, letting you know that whoever conceived this release for the modern masterpiece line definitely knows their robots. So I have to say that I'm a massive fan of the Masterpiece Tracks mold, and I would honestly rank it as one of my favourite Masterpiece car designs overall. Now, that's not a unanimous opinion in the fandom mind, with a small but seemingly vocal minority always keen to tell you what they don't like about the toy. And I can't fathom it myself, as there's just so much inherent play value underneath that simply stunning exterior, that for my money, it's hard not to be entirely captivated by either the original or the two fantastic recolours we've seen so far. I think if I was hard pressed to pick a favourite though, it might have to be Loud Pedal, as there's just something so beguiling and yet so bonkers about that colour scheme, making it one of the more standout masterpiece repaints I think we've seen in the line. The remoulded head is a noteworthy inclusion too, and makes me very surprised that we haven't received a toy inspired release of tracks thus far. Maybe it'll happen one day, eh? Who knows? For now, Loud Pedal is our toy of the week, and it's worth mentioning at this point that he's still available and in stock at TF Source. So just in case you are tempted, then I'll go ahead and put a link to their site in today's video description, and I'd wholeheartedly recommend that you treat yourself. Otherwise, a big thank you for watching, and indeed to everyone who subscribed to the channel so far. If you haven't yet, then now's a great time to hit that little button just down there in the corner somewhere. Last minute shout out to all my Patreon supporters too, details of which are coming up at the end of the video in just a moment. Otherwise, that's it from me, so enjoy the rest of your day, TTFN. Oh, <laughs>